parts of a flower. If you take a typical flower belongs to angiosperms, it has four parts. So before that we learn what is actually a flower is all about. Flower is a modified shoot system. Modified shoot system, we call it as flower. It is a modified shoot and flower is also a reproductive part. This is the reproductive part of a plant. So only part that is involved in reproduction. In the case of sexual reproduction, this is flower is the reproductive part. So now we are going to talk about uh, what are the different parts of a flower. The parts of a flower are the whorls of the flower. Whorls means layers. There are four different parts are there. We have calyx are also known as sepals and then we have corolla or petals and then we have androsium which are known as stamens. Similarly, we have gynosium or pistil. These are the four major whorls of the flower or four major parts of a flower. In this, the first two parts, calyx and corolla are known as non-essential part. They are known as non-essential part. Androsium and gynosium are known as essential part. The reason why the first two part calyx and corolla are known as non-essential part, the reason is they are not directly involved in the process of reproduction. It just help in the process of reproduction whereas the androsium and gynosium are very important because they are the one which are directly involved in the process of reproduction that is the reason why it is known as essential part. So how essential they are? The androsium is the male reproductive part. Whereas the gynosium is the female reproductive part. So, that is reason why both androsium and gynosium are very essential because in sexual reproduction without the male and female reproductive part the process of sexual reproduction will not exist. So, for that androsium and gynosium is very very important and sometimes what will happen in a flower both androsium and gynosium can be present in the same flower. Such flowers are called as bisexual flowers. Bisexual flowers means both male and female are present in same flower. And sometimes what will happen? Sexes can be separated. A flower may be having a male plant separately or male flower separately or female flower separately. Such flowers are called as unisexual flowers, unisexual flowers. For example, in bisexual we have the hibiscus is an example for that where it has both male and female sex organs in it. Whereas unisexual the flowers of papaya, flowers of papaya the separate plant, male plant and female plant is separate, male flowers and female flowers are separate. Such plants, such flowers are known as unisexual flowers. Bisexual means both male and female reproductive organs that is the androsium and gynosium are present in the same plant. Now we are going to talk about uh, uh, the first part calyx. <coughs> what is the function of calyx? Usually the calyx it will be green in color and this is the outermost whorl of the flower. Outermost whorl means the outer layer, the outer layer it will be calyx and next to that it will be corolla and then you will have the androsium 
and at the center we will be having the gynoid shape. Usually it will be arranged like this. So the outermost whorl of the flower it is the calyx. It will be green in color. So you can see it in the picture. This is the green color part which is the calyx. Anything which is green in color it contains chlorophyll. If chlorophyll is present they can do the process called photosynthesis process. Even the calyx can do photosynthesis process to a certain extent. And the other function of calyx during bud condition, during bud condition the whole flower, the rest of the parts that is corolla, androsium and gynoecium are well protected by the calyx, well protected by the calyx. This is the function. One fun first function is they can do photosynthesis process, second uh, condition during bud condition they will protect the innermost whorls of the flower. So, this is the functions of calyx. Next we are going to talk about the functions of corolla or petals. Corolla or petals they are all brightly colored part, they can be in different colors. So, why it is colorful because to attracts the agents for pollination. So, it attracts the insects to attract the bat to attract the other agents like birds to attract the birds the other organisms as well as the insects it is brightly colored. So, only function is attracts the insects towards pollination that is the function of corolla. 